The 52-year-old Princess Gulbadan sat across from her nephew, Emperor Akbar, waiting for her turn to speak. She was of average height, somewhat stocky in build, with distinctive straight eyebrows shading her penetrating, coal-lined eyes. She was dressed in a long, flowing shirt over loose trousers, a scarf thrown over her chest and shoulders, her face exposed. Ruby and pearl necklaces adorned her. The emperor was fully cognizant of Gulbadan's status as a powerful elder, a key dynastic witness, and a memory holder. Bearing the wisdom of the migratory decades she spent in Afghanistan and India with her father and brother, the first two Mughal kings, she was now a matriarch in her nephew's harem. Elder and younger Mughal women, Hindu Rajput wives of the emperor, princes and princesses of many generations, sons and daughters of wives and concubines, eunuchs and midwives, all lived in different sections of the harem, which was studded with domes and cupolas raised on columns, tucked behind the walls that parted it from the imperial court. Gulbadan had spent much of her life on the move in open country. Living behind dauntingly high harem walls was part of a recent state policy. Akbar, the mighty and all-powerful emperor, had built secluded quarters for the women of his dynasty and instituted elaborate regulations for their routine and welfare. 